hello friends today in this tutorial we will be looking at a alert library in javascript which is a naughty library you can see that this is a open source library which is built by this man here i have given the link in the video description you can just read more about this library so let me just in this video just do a quick little crash course on this library so this is a alert library there are various alert boxes which are supported you can see this is a success alert box this is a warning here you can see in yellow color and red color there is a error here you can see if any sort of error take place we have the red color error box then we have this information alert box which is showing in in uh, sky blue color and if you want to have a confirm alert box you can just do it like this you can see you can take input either yes or no and then we have the input so in any case if you want to take input from the user inside your application then you can use this input alert box so here you can provide any sort of value so it is saying please enter your email address so you can have this window inside your website any anytime you want to have input from the user and then we have the select item here so if you want to select any of the things let's suppose i want to open the open item and if i want to share this website i can click share button here you can see and then we have the date so if you want to select date then you can have this nice little menu here where the user can select the date so you can see so basically this is a naughty library uh, which is uh, used for making beautiful alert boxes and now if you go to its uh, github repository and in the video description i have given the complete blog post of mine where i written about in detail about this library so with the video you can just follow this blog here of mine where i have given all the examples which are necessary you can just copy paste the code snippet by clicking this copy button to copy the source code so make sure that you go to the video description and go to my blog and now to get started in order to build this you can just make a simple index.html file and inside this you can include this library let me just show you how to do this so let's suppose you have this html file let me delete the code here and you just need a basic template i am using bootstrap you need not have to use bootstrap but i am using it and after this you need to they have given the instructions here so you need to include it it's cdn here of css in order to include the C css so just click this copy button and right here after bootstrap you can just include it cdn and now you can use this library and also it also comes with its own javascript so you need to include this script tag so also copy this and right after you include jquery cdn paste the cdn of this library now you are all started you can use this library so you need to just add this st style tag also so also copy this and uh, after you include the cdn of its css just copy paste it like this and now to have a basic alert box showing on the screen you need to you can even install it as a node.js dependency by using npm node package manager by executing this command npm install naughty and o t i e so if you go to its uh, let me just show you npmjs.com there is a separate node.js dependency of it so if you don't want to use it on the javascript site if you are working in node.js you can also install this dependency which is naughty so you need to be having in node.js installed on your computer so you can see it is got 3467 weekly downloads so it, it is also you can also use it inside node.js as well uh, now let me just show you how to use it on the browser site so in order to show a very simple alert box you will use this code, code snippet you can even go to my blog post and copy paste it so inside custom script tag we can write this code so you can see there is an alert method inside naughty dot alert and this this takes some options here first is the type parameter it can be either number or string then the text 
which is a string so here we need to provide the st string of the alert box so here you can just provide anything let's suppose i provide uh, hello world and then there is a th third argument which is a boolean attribute the default value is false if you just uh, make it true it will stay on the page forever and then the fourth attribute is time how many seconds that you want this alert box to stay on the page default is uh, three seconds but you can even set uh, five seconds as well so this totally depends upon you and then lastly the position so the position of the alert box so the default is top position you can change the position anytime you can change the position to bottom as well and uh, this type attribute is 4 i think you can even provide a number or string let me provide a string here which is success and now if i execute this open with live server this is a vs code extension so i think it should launch here so it is saying that bottom is not defined oh sorry this needs to be string not number so we need to enclose this inside double quotes so now if i execute this now you will see at the bottom side hello world will be there this is a alert box here and you will see it will stay forever on the page because we have initialized this boolean parameter to true you can change this to false here and now this this will only stay for 5 seconds because we have provided this the time attribute to 5 seconds so if i again launch this 1 2 3 4 5 now you can see it disappears after 5 seconds on the page so in this way you can customize this alert box you can change this from success to warning so now it will have a yellow color and you can change the position from bottom to top top is default here so if you don't provide this so it will take the default position as top here you can see and the next value is error info so you can just try out on your own this is the error one you can see this is and next we have is uh, info and neutral so info i think is orange oh sorry blue here you can see and neutral let me type this neutral you can see grayish color so you can see these are the colors that it supports and now if you go to its documentation the documentation is pretty good you can just try out every example by copy pasting this code here and then customizing it so I, in this video i just wanted to give you a slight overview of this library how you can just uh, perform use this library inside your application so so make sure that you go to this library go to my blog post and here you can just g get all the source code here of every alert box and thanks very much for watching this video and make sure to check out my website which is freemediatools.com where i provide free services daily here so in this we have free tools available to you so make sure that you check out this website the link will be there inside video description so thanks very much for watching this video and i will be seeing you in the next video